to me. It's very sad. Yeah, this person's asking if you want to be my daughter, but then instead the person replies with, I can be the uncle. I learned this how to use a taser in school. He then pulls it out very majestically and starts to use it on his father. He then runs away and returns his brethren of commenting on nostalgic critic videos. Last time on the Noobs Nature documentary, we looked at this, a normal noob, friendly, innocent, not harmful, but now we turn the, the leaf on this new disappointment, the rapping noob. We will, we will um, take a look at the behavior in a bit. As I join in on this uh, game, I put on my business socks. Now I realize a few things. Number one, the music's horrible. Number two, everyone looks like they came back from a convention from One Republic. So, I walk over to the stage and I see two people are rapping. It sucks. I'm a cop that drops facts, so you're the one that wipes my- Bruh. The cop says softly. Then, the, the policeman's competitor then says A33. Whatever that's supposed to mean. As you can tell, these people are clearly stating facts right now. It is now Brody and Batman's turn to rap right now. He then says, I saw it as a talent and a piece of artwork. So I clapped and cheered for him. I hoped for his success. Everyone else agreed. I even met this guy who looked like a Sour Patch Kids bag. But uh, yeah, he's there. He agreed to me that he is speaking true words and that he should be voted as the one true rapper. In the end of the long, hard, and sweaty battle, beats were thrown at each other, fire was spinning, but in the end, Batman has won, and he is now the true rapper. He used hashtag raps, and he has won the battle of dominance for the noobs. People tried and tried to take the place of Brody Batman, but nobody could assert dominance over Batman. Batman was the true rapper, he knew how to rap with his hashtag lyrics. His lyrics spoke to many people who got inspired. But then suddenly, Batman would know that his time has come and that his rap career must end someday. Things are going so smoothly until this man he comes up rapping, calling everyone trash, and talking about his Robux. Let's listen to him rap, shall we? I am sitting on a bench, I am holding a wrench, I fix your brain, but here comes the rain. I am spinning bars, Bruh. cars, that was actual flames. These are bad days, you can call me sucker, I call you... Bruh. Okay, this is a PG. No, 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 no. Yeah, it is PG, actually. No, no, actually, no, no. It's like more like PG-13. But this is like, yeah. Are you sure about- Now, get wrecked, he said in all caps. It appears that everyone hated it. Even I did. I spoke out my opinion. I said, boo, boo. Go back to where you came from. I did not like his raps. Actually, it was not like it was not a rap. It was more like insults that did it just don't work. And this time, it was the lady's turn. The competitor of this horrible rapper. She said, "Goo in the trash." You will get a ban, and you will walk on dust sand. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, okay. Whatever. Um, sure. You see, this is a result of when a kid finds out they can get their mom's credit card and spend on Robux. This is what happens, they start calling everyone bad. I know this is a rap game, but man, this guy, he, he has like... Uh. I have over 40 minutes of footage of just me in this rap battle game. So let's fast forward a little bit into the future where the real drama starts.
fact, oh, some miraculous things happened while this is a server. Some sprite, uh, cranberry men came in and, uh, won the wraps because, of course, they're sprite cans. Also, um, one of my friends, uh, joined the server. His link is in the description below if you want to subscribe to him. You better subscribe to him right now because he's a good person. Okay, I'm sorry, whatever. Anyways, but the bad thing is... There's a thing called, uh, let's say, a flexor, but this time the flexor ha is a noob, Ooh. also likes, um, insulting everyone for some reason. And that, my friends, is a monstrosity known as Prada Candies. Do not send hate, please. If you send hate, then you're very unepic. So yes, it was time now. Mr. Sprite Man was on. He said he's gonna finna hit them with a Glock. He then won. And now, we're on the page of Total Drama. Now, my friend got up on the stage against another Sprite Man. Sprite Man was spreading his beats like a virus, apparently. And Crash Bandicoot was like, Hi, uh... Re EA Sports. It's in the game. And, uh, then the Sprite Man recognized him. And then he said, oh, I'm sorry. Then they became great friends or something. I don't know what happened, man. But then they, uh, Sprite Man, he left the stage and my friend won. Now the, it was now the female version of Rice Gum on stage. She just stood there listening to Fortnite ramble about on, you look like as. Uh, okay. Um, and then she started rapping very epically. I didn't really think it was epic but some other people thought it was so uh yeah her raps kind of sound familiar in a way i'll show you what i thought it sounded like if you want to reach those kids on the street then you gotta do a rap to a hip-hop beat so i gave my sermon an urban kick my rhymes are fly my beats are sick my crew is big and it keeps getting bigger that's because jesus christ is my in the end fortnite man won i was very pleased but then Pratty Candies didn't seem happy for who I was voting for. She apparently did not like Australia. Wait a minute, that's illegal. She came over to me, called me Nat Geo Wild, animal historian person. I mean, she wasn't wrong, but I also questioned, how did she know what I was doing? She knew I was making a nature documentary just by looking at me. I think I need to go incognito next time. It was now my official turn to do out on the stage. I apparently won, even though all I said was don't vote for me. I all, all I said was big Robux, and somehow I won, which I thought was completely unfair. But Pratty Cakes used that big Robux thing against me and said, Haha, flexing, I see. Oh, you're saying I'm flexing, you're flexing too, critical chum. Well, the thing about me is, that big Robux thing was a joke. I don't have big Robux, I'm just joking. This person probably got her mom's credit card and used it for Roblox. She probably is the girl on the news that spent $5,000 on Roblox. But then I used a sarcastic insult from Fallout 4 because that's my fair game. And Miss Basking in your delightful personality? Do what you like, but I'm done talking to you. I was then, um, conveniently selected to fight, uh, Prada Cakes, or <laughs> whatever her name is, uh, yeah, in a 1v1 for rapping, and, uh, let's just say, I did bad, but somehow I won, but, you know, that's alright. Well, that's uh, basically it of, uh, this documentary, but, uh, it wasn't really documentary, it was more like me, uh, having to deal with a bunch of people. Please do not send hate or whatever to these people, okay? This is just entertainment, okay? Thank you for watching or something. Uh, uh, I need better ideas for videos. If you could, just, like, comment in the, you know, comment section for me. Thank you.